So today's class was with Professor Hobson. <coughs> uh, we went over Delhiva again. So this time we did a sweep from Delhiva. Uh, and then if that was uh, blocked, then we shifted to like a spider guard um, sweep the other way. And then we also did a triangle from the spider because we weren't able to sweep. <coughs> um, but today, I kind of want to talk about like safety. Um, so I started wearing a mouth guard and the ear protection after, I don't know, like five months maybe. Um, some people don't wear it at all. Most people wear mouth guards. Um, kind of was thinking like, why wait until after you get hurt to start wearing protection? Uh, that's why I kind of started wearing. Um, and you know, if, if you don't feel, if other people, you know, if you feel uncomfortable wearing it, just wear it. Uh, it's, it's up to you. You shouldn't feel bad if someone else says something. It's, uh, it's your responsibility to take care of yourself <coughs> and can't, can't like uh, let other people affect you in that way. In the same way, if you're rolling with someone that you don't wanna roll with, you know, if they're out of control, if they're like really heavy, you know, much heavier than you, uh, if they're like using dirty tactics or something like that, then you know you could just tell them you don't want to roll them, or you could limit the positioning. Or you could just say, "Hey, I want to just work on whatever the lesson was today. I don't want to, uh, you know, do like a free roll. Uh, limit it to positions where you know it'll be safer." Um, yeah, uh, there's, and you know, also point out when they're not doing something that's, when they're doing something that's dangerous, for example, uh, you're not supposed to like grab individual fingers, but a lot of beginners would do it. I mean, I did that, like my second class, I grabbed some of the fingers, because um, I, but you're not supposed to do that, because it's, you know, it's dangerous for the person's fingers that you're grabbing to break their finger. Um, yeah, so, you know, if they're doing something dangerous, it's, you should just point it out. Um, and then, you know, if someone's heavier than you and they don't know how to control that weight, you know, you, can, you should try to avoid them. Uh, for example, if someone's a lot heavier than you, and your one of your joints is sort of like out of position, right? Like suppose your your elbow is bent the wrong way, and then someone 100 pounds heavier then just lays all his weight on it, and your elbow's gonna explode. Um, <clears throat> so just avoid people that throw their weight around. You know, if someone's heavier than you, it's fine if they know what they're doing. So you move in a controlled fashion. Um, you know, those those are fine. It's actually really challenging to roll with them because uh, you know you, they have a lot more weight that you gotta you have to figure out what to do with. Um, so yeah, it's not it's not bad to roll with them ever even. But if they are not, if they don't know what they're doing, it can be a lot more dangerous. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, so I've been training now for nine and a half months, I think. Um, gotten two black eyes, stubbed my toe. I think that's all the injuries that I've gotten. Uh, one of the black eyes was accidental. The other was this guy I should have known better. Uh, it's like this young kid. Um, it's like just starting out. It's pretty wild. I should have just said, hey, let's just work on what we learned today but I didn't, and then I got a black eye. So, uh, lesson learned there. Yeah, so, um, if, I'm just bringing this up because it's probably a big reason why a lot of people don't try Jiu-Jitsu is because they're afraid of injuries. And there's, you know, it's definitely a concern, it's definitely a, uh, something you should keep in mind. But it's also that something that can be mitigated. Um, and at the same time, you know, it's, a, it's, your, sort of, it's your responsibility, uh, obviously, you know, if someone's like a real asshole and it's just crazy, then, uh, then, you know, things are going to happen. But there are ways to mitigate even that situation uh, by avoiding them. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway.